What's up y'all, it's West Indy Ray back again with another video. Now I know it's been a really long time since I've been on here and every time I get back on here I tell you how busy I've been, but this time like I've really been busy. Like I've been all over the country within the last 30 days. So I have tons of stories to tell and things like that and I'll get around to that whenever I can, but I really want to come to you guys with a video on my, I wouldn't say best kept secret of how I grow my hair long and healthy, but like, my best kept practice and just like a fyi this is not my hair this is um hair from her given hair that i have done videos on before but my hair is long and healthy or getting long and healthy it comes down to like the beginning of my armpits now and i could tie it in a bow at the bottom of my chin so to me that means something and also it is very shiny and healthy looking so these tips that I'm gonna tell you or this tip that I'm gonna tell you actually works so I hope that you guys will try it out and see for yourself now in the past I have gave you guys tips for how I keep my hair from breaking how I keep it healthy and growing and shiny looking and I've said things just as a refresher like using one of these really really weak brushes on your hair because the bristles aren't like harsh enough to rip your hair out and I got this from Walmart so if you guys haven't been up on this um they also have them at Sally's like just like the shampoo brushes I use these on my hair a lot to detangle and it really helps with keeping it shiny keeping my hair out there and not down my drain I've also been obsessed with this Aussie 3 minute miracle deep conditioner I usually put it in my hair at night and leave it in like all night and the next day my hair is feeling nice and shiny and soft and smelling good and all that so I don't know all the car facts on this because I honestly haven't looked into it but all I know is that it's not the most natural thing but I really like how it makes my hair feel so as of now I'm using it and then for everybody who follows me on Instagram which is temporarily I took all my pictures off of it but I'll I should be back up there soon in the next couple of months I'm just kind of taking a break from social media but if you guys have any questions you can still feel free to hit me up on there because I check it periodically for you guys so I have been talking a lot about this sweet almond oil on my um, social media, like on my Instagram. I don't really use Snapchat anymore, but on Instagram, I've been talking a lot about this sweet almond oil. Now, this one is from Silk Essentials, but I kind of have been using the one from Whole Foods a lot. The one from Whole Foods, you get a lot more and it's cheap, but it's like under $10 and you get a good amount of it and I use this stuff everywhere because it not only helps with making your hair shiny and silky and helping it grow it also helps with dark spots under eye circles blemishes all of that so I tend to buy the bigger one from Whole Foods just because I slather that stuff on everywhere but you can get the smaller one too from Sally's but I must say my best practice of all is in this dingy little water bottle that I've had for years. Now, the thing about this water bottle, and the reason why I say dingy, is because I literally never wash it, and I'll tell you why. So, as we know, in order to have like nice, shiny looking, silky hair, right, you have to moisturize your hair enough. Now, over moisturizing is not good, but what I do is I make sure that I dampen my hair at least once a day because that just seems to work for me personally. Now I'm not saying that you have to like drench it in water and then put it up so the wet, the middle stays wet all day and like all that, but I just make sure that I go ahead and spray it through with some water every day. I just feel like water is so slept on when it comes to how important it is to moisturize in your hair. Of course, you know, we drink it all day to make sure that our bodies are running healthy and our hair looks great, but putting water like actual water on your hair like not even just oh deep conditioner and stuff like that putting actual pure water on your hair is like the key and the reason why i don't wash this is because in order to create more of a lasting effect like my hair tends to retain moisture really really well but in order for the water not to evaporate and for me to have that moisturization all throughout my day i incorporate other things inside of that water bottle so that it just sticks to my hair so I have things like oils from three months ago and like <laughs> anything with a good shelf life I put in here. 
Now my tip for the water bottles is to get either a clear one or a light colored one so that you can kind of hold it up to the light because oils tend to separate and you can see, okay, I have enough oil in here or there's no oil in here, maybe I need to add some more stuff, but I have everything from probably remnants of ACV from treatments I've done before to olive oil, maybe a touch of honey in there. I have sweet almond oil, I put coconut oil in here last night, and every time that I need more of it, I just like add a little bit more of those ingredients or I add some more water, and it basically just ends up being a mixture of all things that my hair likes. So like I said before, only criteria is making sure that it's things that your hair personally likes because sometimes people will say, oh put this in your hair, put that in your hair, and your hair really doesn't vibe with it. Like my hair doesn't really like coconut oil that much unless it's like warmed up in water. So the only way that I ever put coconut oil in my hair is if I'm refilling this with warm water and then I put a little bit of coconut oil in it because it just, my hair likes that. So if your hair likes it and if it has a good shelf life because you want to make sure things aren't turning in here, then put it in your water bottle and just continue to use it over and over again. I kind of look at it like any of you guys like to cook or you're a chef or something like that. If you have a cast iron skillet and you season the skillet so that everything tastes really, really great that you put in it, I'm seasoning my water bottle. So that by far I think has helped my hair the most. Putting all these things in my water bottle and making sure that I, you know, retain that moisture every day has really helped me achieve my goals of having really soft and silky hair. And I hope that it helps you a lot too. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there. And I'll see you in the next video. If you guys need anything, feel free to let me know.